I don't remember the first time, but I remember the feeling. Each patient is different. You don't really know what you will find when you begin a surgery. I'm Manuel Cremades. I'm a surgeon in Hospital Germans Tiers i Pujol in Barcelona, Spain. While I was doing my degree, the only thing that I knew for sure is that I wanted speciality that required some manual skills. I'm just preparing everything because uh, during the surgery we will perform the colonoscopy uh, with the other lens, with a virtual screen so that we spare space inside of the operating room. Now, the only thing that uh, may be a little bit difficult is uh, to get into the bile duct with the colonoscope. It's tricky. Nowadays, technology and innovations are the tools that allows us to improve our techniques, our diagnostics and our treatments. Being able to add virtual resources around you while you are operating, it's really helpful. And in the future, I think it's gonna be like a guide so that you could have like a map over the patient. Retira una miqueta el colonoscop. Jo? Sí, retira una miqueta. Vale, aquí, fantàstic, quieto. Quieto. Quieto, quieto. Tanca, tanca, dorme. Quieto. Vale, retira. VSI could improve our practice in two different ways. First, I hope that we can improve our outcomes. Faster surgeries, easier surgeries, safer surgeries. Well, after trying for the first time the HoloLens with PSI software, I was really impressed. It was like, wow, does this really exist? Is it real? Because it seemed like uh, it was only in the movies. When you try new techniques, new technologies, new whatever, it's like opening an, a new field. Suddenly I was seeing virtual things around me and I was able to touch them and move them and interact with them. Now we are using VSI for teaching because we can stream surgeries in real time with students. With these virtual resources, it's easier to explain and for them it's easier to understand. To go to the classroom is boring and everything is quiet and static. But in, into the OR everything is dynamic and you can feel the uh, original sensation of, of to be enhanced on the patient. So it's, it's thrilling for, for the um, students and they appreciate it a lot. And they all connect from home, from their homes. They connect streaming with us. So everybody is following the lesson today. This is different when you are in the classroom. No, no one goes to the classroom, but when we, we perform like this, everyone, everyone is, is connected, so. Llavors, veieu que estan identificant un tub aquí al costat del, 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 del ganxo. Aquí baix, el tub que surt és aquest, el cístic que ha dit la vostra companya. Vale? Llavors, allà on entra el cístic és on la via biliar canvia de... When you try new technologies and you see that you are able to do things that you weren't supposed to do, 
before, it's like, wow, now I can perform this this way, that it's better, that it's faster, that it's safer. In other lessons, when the procedures are more complex, we, we've had uh, 70 uh, students at the same time. We feel um, good when after having a student with you, that student finishes the degree and, and he or she says, okay, I want to be a sergeant because I, I work with doctor whatever. And, and it was so, so nice, it was so beautiful, I, I learned a lot. And, and now I want to be like that specific uh, uh, person. I think it's beautiful to be able to, to share this knowledge and these experiences.